We've just got our hands on Swarovski's new BTX scope system, which uh, was unveiled a couple of months ago. And we brought it out here today to have a first look before we test it in the July issue of Birdwatching. And you see that it uses the front end of the ATX scope system. So these modules, this one's a 95 millimeter, just fits onto the back end, which is the BTX eyepiece module. And you straight away see that the revolutionary thing about it is that it's got two eyepieces. So in theory, you've got binocular vision exactly if you, as if you were using a pair of binoculars. Um, there's no zoom on it, but you can buy a magnification extender, which takes things uh, up, but I think 1.8 times. It's got the usual Swarovski um, helical focus, as I say, with the ATX module. There's a couple of nice little extras here. There's a sighting device, which so far I've found a lot more useful than the, the type you usually get on scopes. And you've got this forehead rest, which, uh, in theory just makes things a bit more relaxing when you, you're viewing for any length of time. If you don't like them you can take either of those, you'd note the forehead rest right down, take the sighting device off so it's not a big problem. Um, Mike, you've just been having a first look, yeah. what do you think? Well I, I think the key thing of, about the whole system is it's all about relaxation when you're bird watching. Uh, one, of the, one of the complaints that people have about normal telescopes where you use just one eye is it can be a bit stressful it's a bit too much strain, just trying to look through one eye, keep the other one open or cover the other one up or close it. Um, as you're using both uh, eyes to use this system, um, it's just like using a pair of bins. So it's a relaxing view. And uh, excuse me while I turn my hat round. You feel like you could uh, bird watch like this all day, basically, just staring into this field of view, completely relaxed with both eyes. And one of the things when I first came to it was that I found myself closing one eye anyway, just because you, you think of it as a normal scope and it takes a while to relax into that and get used to it. But once you do, you do notice a big difference and it, it, it's, it's far easier to view for extended periods, I think. One of the other things I'd say is that you do need a good sturdy tripod for it. It's, um, it's a pretty hefty bit of kit, as you'd imagine. So to get the best value from it, you want something that's not going to wobble all over the place and, and I mean this is a, a really good solid tripod. Um, in terms of carrying it around the weight's probably not going to be a big difference. It, the, all the weight really is at that front end in the 95 millimeter objective module so if you're used to carrying one of those or an 85 around I don't think you'd notice a huge amount of difference but you just want a good solid base for it. We can look forward to seeing your full review in the July issue of Birdwatch magazine, Matt. Yeah, I'm going to be putting it through, through its paces over the next few days. I had a bit of a sneak preview a couple of months ago when it came out, but we, we were lucky there. We got a lot of good weather, so I, I'm going to try and put it through its paces in some really typically British May weather, um, early mornings and late nights and drizzle and all the rest of it, and see how it performs.